Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at the best sling on the market. All right, so as you can tell, I have a ton of slings and I've even got more downstairs that honestly aren't even honorable mentions and to make it into the review. We're gonna go over all these different slings and I'm going to pick out about four, I think, that are my top four and we'll go over those and give you guys an idea. Um, and this is not all the slings. I haven't slide, tried all the slings in the market. So uh, if I've missed a sling, that's fine. Just let me know. Uh, I'll add it to the nether review or I'll test it and let you go my thoughts on that. Uh, but these are just the slings that I've tried so far, the ones that I've kind of heard that are really good and uh, they're the ones that made it onto my list. So if there's anything else, add it to the comments. So before we get into this, I'm not gonna be going over the durability, the textures, what they're made of, all those things. It's not a detailed review like I normally do. What this is gonna be, it's just telling you what the best one is uh, in my mind. And then I'm gonna go over each one, kind of the benefits, the pricing, uh, what you get with it. And that kind of goes along with why I picked which one's my favorite. So what might be my favorite and best for me and my gun might not be best for you because what's best for this gun and what's best for this gun are two very different things. So. Uh, it's gonna be gun based, it's gonna be personal preference. This is just gonna be my list to give you guys the pros and cons of each and to show you which one's my favorite. So with that being said, uh, most of these I have bought with my own money. I think maybe one or two was sent to me, the rest I've bought. Uh, I probably have, I have a ridiculous amount of money in slings. I've got, I've got tons and tons of slings ranging from $20 to 100 plus dollars on slings each. So I probably spent a CZ Scorpion in slings. So I probably should get rid of some. Uh, just like my holsters, I've got a tote downstairs with a bunch of slings that I just don't use. I'm sure you guys are the same. You buy one, you think it's awesome, and then you find out there's something better, you buy that. And uh, how many slings do you really need? All that being said, let's get right into the review. Well, it's not a review. Let's get right into the video and uh, go over which ones are the favorite. All right, we'll just start with the one that's in my hand. This is the Ferro Concept Slingster. This is on my uh, Zeus build. This is one of my primary rifles that I carry. Yes, it's a pistol, I know, but it, just for non-confusion, let's just call it a rifle because that's what it is, silly ATF. So this is on my primary gun and uh, this one probably has the most rounds through it. This is the one that I shot the most. Uh, I ran a couple events with it and uh, that's where it's gained most of its tr uh, testing. So I have switched this around a couple different guns, but we'll get right into this one. So starting off, I got a list here of all the stuff. Price range, you're looking at about $55 for this sling, which is about average what you're looking for for a decent sling. Uh, if you want something simple uh, with no padding, this has got the uh, century strap from Neomag, really cool, keeps your sling all tight and close. So we'll, we'll let that out so you guys can see. But if you want with no padding, you're gonna be looking a lot cheaper, but if you want actually a good padded sling with uh, the ability to actually move it around an adjustment uh, you're gonna be looking around that $50 price range that's about average so price is good on this I'm happy with the pricing it does not come with sling points so I priced about ten to twenty dollars for your actually good sling points because you don't want to cheap out on these because I've cheaped out on them before and I've had them come off in my gunfall it's embarrassing if you're around people luckily I wasn't around people when it happened uh, it's embarrassing it's not good for your gun and that uh, could be unsafe so make sure you're spending good money on d-rings and attachments and accessories for your slings uh, sling is a very important part of your gun so don't cheap out on a lot of, a lot of people like you want to so $55 for the sling itself and then 10 to $20 for your attachment points depending on what you're going with so I went with just ones they recommended and they've held up really well so far so I've got about I think there were $20 for the sling so I got about $75 in this sling not horrible, a little more than a lot of people want to spend, I get that, um, but not absolutely horrible. I think these prices, these slings went down because I think they were 80 when I bought it, but they're, they're down to 55, so fair price on that. This is a two-point sling. I run primarily two-point slings. You can buy an attachment from them for $11 that makes it into a one and two-point sling depending on what you want, which is nice because then you can just switch it to a one-point depending on what you're doing. I like two points just because it's easier and it does everything I need it to. So far, I really like this sling. Uh, the adjustment works really well. You have this large th thumb hold and you can adjust very easily. I mean, it's very smooth to adjust and that's huge. It's a metal part. It's not plastic and that's nice because some of them are plastic and they can break this this one's metal. Uh, your loops are metal as well, I think. No, those are plastic. Those are little plastic pieces, which is not that big of a deal to have those because that's just holding your sling together. It's like holding the, the excess flaps together. But all your main points here, like your adjustment, are metal. So this is a very durable sling. And like I said in the beginning, all these slings have passed the durability test. And uh, I have not had any issues with any of these slings. All the stitching has been good. So we're just going to go ahead, the rest of the review, not talk about durability stuff. They've all passed that test for me. The padding on this sling is really nice. It's long and it does exactly what it's supposed to. It's not bulky, it's a very lightweight sling. Uh, the only part that's kind of heavy is this metal part and that kind of weighs down just a little bit, but the whole sling as a whole is very thin and uh, it still does have a nice bit of padding so it doesn't dig into your arm. So for those of you that like padding, this does have nice padding. So let's move right into the next one. 
Next is your Haley Strategic Sling. This one is the lightest weight out of all of them. Uh, it's very minimalist. You just have this very small pad, so you have to make sure you're adjusting it where it's right there where you want it. Uh, but the pad is nice. It's thick enough to be comfortable, but not thick enough to be obnoxious and in the way. This one does come with the hardware. This one's at $90, so it's a lot more expensive, but it comes with everything you need. Your hardware's uh, with it, so that's nice if you want these attachments. Now, now, most people do like the quick release from what I've been able to tell. That's what most people run. So as long as you want those, it's a good price. Now, this one is a single and a double. It already has the attachment here, which is metal. So you can connect it right here and make it into a double or a single point, And then you can make a double point, two point sling as well. Now, one of the things I really like about this is how lightweight it is. There is like nothing to it. It feels like one of those slings that basically has no padding, but it does. So that is a benefit to this one. It's really lightweight. If you want something small, simple, nothing too crazy, this is a really good choice. Now, my only downfall with this is the adjustments. I don't know if it's just this sling. Maybe I got one that kind of was a little bit screwed up or if it's all their slings, but this is the most difficult sling for me to adjust when it's on. Now right here, it actually adjusts really well when it's not on the gun, but when I'm actually on the gun and I'm trying to make adjustments on the move, very, very difficult. I have to almost move the gun off of it and get no weight on the sling for it to actually adjust how I want it to. So how there's no weight on it right now, if I had a gun to it, it'd be difficult. So that's my only gripe with this sling. Adjusting is difficult if you want to do it on the move. And depending on what you're doing, if you're going to shoot and then you're going to stop and then you need to make an adjustment to make it tighter, or if you want to drop it looser from being in a position that you're holding it close, uh, it can be annoying. So again, I don't know if this is just a me problem with just the one sling or if this is all their slings problem, but that is something that I found an issue with. But the lightweightness and the fact that it comes with your your hardware is really nice, but this is expensive at $90. Next on the list is going to be the cheapest. It's the Lunar Concepts Contour. Now, I really like this sling because it has a contour, as its name says, to the sling. So when you're wearing it, uh, it contours a little bit better to your body. So that is really cool. The padding is very nice. It's a little bit stiff in my mind, um, but it is also the cheapest at $47. So really cheap. It does not come with hardware, so you do have to buy your hardware points. So add another $10 to $20, you're looking at about $67. So a really good price uh, for the sling and uh, you can get whatever hardware you want. Uh, the adjustment on this, I actually really like this knob. At first I was like, that's kind of silly, but it's actually really easy just to grab a hold of and make your adjustments. It adjusts very easy, very smoothly. This is probably tied with the Faro Concepts and adjustment, or if not better. It is very smooth, very easy to adjust, and I do like that. Adjustment, adjusting is important, especially when you're buying a sling that can adjust. You want it to actually adjust smoothly. So the downfall with this is gonna be the fact that this is really rigid. I don't like how rigid it is because, like I showed you on uh, the Zeus, how that was all collapsed there on the gun. I like to keep my slings tight on my guns when I'm storing them or when I'm actually using them, taking them with me, or like for a duty use, purpose, I want that sling tight to the gun. This one kind of makes it hard because the sling is really uh, stiff on this padded part. So I don't really want to bend the parts that are contoured. So it's kind of weird when I do that. It's possible. It's just a little bit goofy and it, and it at least creases in your padding. So the padding is nice. I just don't really like that fact. That's, that's about the only downfall that I have with this sling. Next is gonna be the most expensive sling on the list. This is the Survivor Sling by Cold Steel Tactical. Uh, there's a lot going on with these. This comes in at $100. And at first when you see that, it's like, oof, $100 for a sling, that's a little steep. And I understand it really is. But this one does come with some cool features uh, that the other slings don't. One of them being the fact that you can quick disconnect your ends so you can switch these out very easily. These are durable. They don't make a ton of noise, which I was worried about. I know the previous version, they had some issues with noise because they were rattling a lot. Uh, they fixed that and now they don't make as much noise as anymore. Uh, one downfall is it just adds one more point to fail, which when a sling, uh, you don't really want a ton of extra stuff on them because you just, it's a sling. It's just meant to hold your gun in place. There's really not a, mess, it's a lot it's meant to do, but adding this kind of has one more fail point, but I really don't see a part where this is going to fail because this does seem like a high quality part. Now, one thing that's really cool about this is it not only comes with the quick detach points, but it also comes with these loops as well. So you can quick detach these, pop this one off, and then put the QD point on depending what you're using. The reason I really like this sling for this is because this is the only sling that actually worked for the CZ Scorpion that I have, just because I didn't have any QD points on the Scorpion, and these are the only loops that I actually own because I own all QD points. So that is a benefit to this sling. Next is gonna be the fact that you have this paracord. This is 75 foot of paracord in here. Uh, that's why it's called the survivor sling. So if something happens, you can cut the paracord out and now you have a bunch of paracord. And that's useful if you're out in the wilderness, need something, I mean, wherever you're at, 
paracord's a good thing. The only downfall to that is this is a very bulky sling. Uh, yes, you get the paracord, which is cool, but you're kind of gaining a lot of bulk. I mean, you got a lot of stuff going on here with the, the attachment ports. You have a big spot here to make this a one to two point sling, which is nice to have the option, but I think they should have made this a little bit smaller. This one is a really good example of how small you can make that. Super simple. This one's obnoxious, gets in the way, clanks against the gun. I do not like this big giant D-ring point. Yes, it's cool because it's two points and I don't ever see this breaking. I mean, I feel like you couldn't rip this thing to pieces if you tried, but it is a little much for me. Now, another nice feature about this is this does have some stretch to it. So it's just right inside this part here. There is a little bit of stretchiness to it. So when you're carrying your gun, you're walking, running, doing whatever you're doing, it does have a little play to it. So it's not so rigid. That is kind of cool. I found that a little after the fact when I was doing the testing on it. Pretty cool little feature there on that. The adjustments are very easy as well. Adjust just fine. I would still mark this on the top on the adjustment point. The, really the only one that I had issues with adjusting was the Haley Strategic, but adjusting this is very easy. So that is my top four. Those are the ones that made it on this list. I do have a bunch of other slings here uh, as well that, you know, they're good slings. There's nothing wrong with them. Uh, there's a couple other ones. I don't know where they went, but they're, they're all good slings, uh, but they just weren't quite exactly what I, I'm not a big single point sling guy. Uh, this one is just way too mumble jumbled out. There's, there's so many things going on, has some benefits, but not enough to make it on the list. If you guys want to see a review on all those, I can do those later. That's fine. So now let's go over my favorite and uh, which one I recommend. My favorite by far, and uh, you probably guessed this because it's on my primary, is gonna be the Ferro Concept Slingster. I think it's at a really good price point. I think uh, it's not gonna break your budget too much, but you're getting a really sling, good sling for it. It's very durable and has an awesome adjustment point, which I really like. Uh, you can switch out your D-ring, so you're able to switch which ones ever you like at the beginning. So if you don't run QD, you're not wasting your money with QD points, um, like with some of them that come with it. So you can adjust it and make it with what you want. So far, this is my favorite. It's just lightweight, and I think the price is right. Now, this does not mean this is the best for everybody or the best for your gun. Next is gonna be the contour because it's the best for your buck. You're only spending $47 for the sling itself and then whatever extras you want. Uh, it's very simple, there's not much to it. The only downfall I have is being able to fold it and keep it close to your gun, which I'm sure there's a way or you can just fold it and, and then it has a fold in it, which aesthetically wise annoys me, but it's still functional. So I do like this one, it just very easy and the price is really good. So for those of you that are on a budget, the one that's gonna be the best for your buck is going to be the contour in my mind. Now, next, Haley Strategic. Now, if I, if I was able to get another one and I find out that this adjustment point was a just one sling issue and not all the slings, then this one would be probably above the Lunar Concepts just because this one is so lightweight, but it's very, very functional. The pad is just enough to be uh, able to actually pad and not any extra. There's not a ton of extra pad setting. There's a lot of pad here, which I'll show you. There is a ton of extra pad compared to the Lunar Concept that's really not needed. Not My shoulder's not this big. No one's shoulder is, unless you're the Hulk. But uh, this is really all you need. And I like that because it's super lightweight, adds very little weight to your gun, so that is a benefit. And it does come with the hardware. So this is a very nice sling. I like it, just $90. A little bit steep. You could probably find them a little bit cheaper. I think Impact Weapon Components has them for 85, so a little bit cheaper, so not bad. Uh, it's pretty comparable still with the rest. And the last is going to be the Cold Steel Tactical. Uh, now this is not not discounting the sling, saying it's the worst. It's just saying it's the last out of the four that I've chose. So nothing says that this is the worst sling that I'm using. The only thing with this sling is I see myself using a sling more for just holding the gun up, lightweight. I don't want anything too crazy, not too much going on more opposed to the fact that I think I'm gonna use this paracord. I could put this paracord on the back of my pack, I could put it on my pellet carrier, I could put it in my backpack. I really don't think I need it on my sling. It's a nice idea and it's cool for those of you that are really into survival stuff and thinks that they're gonna need that. Super cool, it works nicely. The biggest benefit being the fact that you can switch these out very easily and it worked well for the CZ, so I've been using it on that a lot. Uh, so the sling is very functional, it works well. There's just things that I think they can you know, fix. Maybe a little less paracord, remove this giant piece, get something a little bit smaller. Uh, other than that, the adjustment's very good. $100, a little bit steep, but I understand they've got a lot of extra stuff going on with this with the, the I'm sure these aren't cheap and I'm sure the paracord, you know, takes time to wrap all that stuff. So I do understand why it's a little more expensive, but that is why it's on the lowest on my list, just because of all the stuff going on. When I want a sling, I want something simple, something not gonna get in the way, and this one just has a little bit too much going on for me. Again, not discrediting the sling, saying it's the worst, it's just the worst out of the four that I'm using.
So there's my opinion on all these slings. Let me know what you guys think. What's your favorite sling? What do you guys like to run? If there's something you want to see me test or try out against these slings, let me know. I've been testing this for about a year now. It's been a really long process. I wanted to make sure I was able to give you guys a very accurate idea. Uh, so I made sure to try all these slings for a while before I went out and made a video. Uh, I could have very well just bought these slings real quick and then made a video just to uh, pop it out there. But I wanted to make sure that I got all the testing done and really got a good idea of what I thought before I gave you guys any info. So again, Feral Concepts definitely my favorite i will probably be purchasing another one for the zeus 3 which is the one with the razor and scalar works um that one that's such a fun gun uh that one's downstairs right now if you guys have another thing that you would like me to try shoot me a dm shoot me a message put it in the comments let me know i would love to try something different then if you guys want to keep your sling high and tight like i was from the beginning you just take it here like this switch it down like that and then you're able to use the sentry strap from Neo Mag, which I absolutely love. And there you go, your sling is high and tight. When you want your sling, you just pull like that and then you have access to it. This is a magnet on this side. So when you pull on it, it usually just flips over, magnetizes to something and it's out of the way. Really cool product. So if you guys would like to help out my page and everything I do here, there's a couple of ways down in the description. There's Patreon and then there is links to my website. From there, you can go to other links like Brownells. Uh, cloud defensive anything you purchase using my link gives me a small kickback and shows companies that i'm generating traffic which is a good thing and helps me out uh, if not not a big deal you don't have to do that i just appreciate you guys being here um, that just helps me purchase camera equipment editing software ammo guns things to test slings <laughs> I have a small fortune in slings um, so if you guys could do that that's greatly appreciated uh, if not like i said i just appreciate you guys being here liking sharing subscribing thank you guys so much Another company that shows me a ton of support is Howitzer. I absolutely love this company. I wear their shirts all the time, especially if you guys watch my Instagram, I'm always wearing their clothes. Uh, they give 5% of their proceeds to charity, which is really cool. They raised $200,000 last year for charity, which broke their expectations. I think a lot of people, because that was their first year. Uh, so I'm really excited to see what they do this year. Really cool company. Um, I absolutely appreciate them uh, for giving me clothing to wear, because if not, I would probably be shirtless during these reviews. So no one would like that. But if you guys want to check them out, link in the description as well.